Merry Christmas, everybody, and welcome to a Sigmund Corporation Holiday Christmas Special. You can see Neil and Eva there. If you're not familiar with them, they're from To The Moon. Their job at this place... Well, right now they're getting protests. Their protesters are throwing, to throwing tomatoes at them. Their job is that when somebody is dying, they go into the memories of the dying person and they change their memories so the person can have one chance to fulfill a lifelong wish they never succeeded at. And apparently it's a little controversial now in their world. Well, at least they're starting to leave. Guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. Ah, uh, we ought to get that uh, external fruit collector set up. Man, I'd never have to buy fruit again. We'll just take it from the protesters. Perfectly cooled in the snow and kept fresh, too. Uh-huh. Get this. It's like we're inside and the fridge is outside. Mind blown? Sure, um, yeah, good job. I knew it. Neil Watts, mind blower extraordinaire. I wonder if others are leaving early, now that the roads are cleared. Uh, I might as well. I, I can't believe the calls pushed our cr Christmas party this late. Yeah, God forbid people are dying right before Christmas, Neil. Um, are you heading home early, too? No, I'm, I'm at home. Oh, you're asking Eva that. Yeah, why not? I'm spending the eve with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. Ah, uh, with their little brat, huh? Neil! That's rude! That's her nephew! Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. Unlike a certain somebody. Guess again. Ah, uh, wait, what is that? It's an ambient sound maker. So you mean like relaxing sounds or just like any ambient sounds? Could like an annoying neighbor upstairs walking around and stomping around be it? You'd be like, why did I buy this thing? It doesn't relax me at all. It's just stop, stop, stop all day long. It cycles through soothing background sounds like this. <laughs> like beaches or a chorus of crickets. Check this out. Oh, now I have to pee. Uh, it sounds like something I could do on my phone. Neil, appreciate the effort she went into. Oh, yeah? Well, this also allows for recording a custom track of your own to loop back. Just press record and you can make your own custom ambient sound work, too. Again, um, phone... I guess neither of us are, um, particularly good gifters. Hey, I'll still take it. Neil, you are the worst person I have ever known at receiving a gift. You're like, this is shitty, my phone's better, but I'll take it, whatever. And I'll probably record Robin, uh, Rob getting scolded to the custom track and fall asleep to it or whatnot. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, how about you? You got plans? Well, oh, I don't know. That's got to be some woman's voice, right? So I really need to get in the mood and do a really realistic woman's voice. Oh, come here, you stud. Oh, my lady bits tingle. <laughs> Is that Willis in uh, Timer? It was. I guessed right. Is it wise, or have we, you been getting handsomer? Wait, what? Is it the wine, or have you been getting handsomer by the day? Wait, she should have an old lady voice. Is it the wine, or have you been getting handsomer by the day? Ho, ho, ho. My dear, I'm as sober as a brick, and you're still steamy. Like a hot bun, and I like your hot gray buns. Oh. When I looked into your eyes just then, it's as if I hear the gentle waves of an ocean. Oh! A lady slapped his butt! Uh, oh, you naughty little vixen! Ho ho! If not for my back, I'd pick you up and I'd plow your- Whoa! Um... Hi. Oh. Hey! 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 <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's snowing outside! Yep, it's doing that. 
Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Awkward, run away! <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for today. Did you record that? Tell me you recorded that, Eva. Ah, uh, yep. I'm heading out. Ah, uh, you do that. Neil, just say goodbye at least. It's what makes our job possible. Oh, that's the device that allows you to go into people's minds. Neil? Oh, hey, uh, thanks for the sound machine and whatnot. Jeez, don't be too grateful now. Yeah, that's one thing you don't ever worry, have to worry about Neil being is too grateful. Bye, Neil. Gotta go see my family. Merry Christmas! Make fart sounds into it, Neil. <laughs> I don't know whose voice that is. Hello? Who is this? Hello? I wonder if Neil was calling his family, like his dad or something. Can I steal this stuff? No? Alright, going down. Uh, go to the offices, the lounge, uh, where, where were we? The lobby? Well, you know, let's go hit our office a second, see if we need to grab anything before we head off to the party. Oh, it's Dr. Eddie Doyle! Hey, Eva! Hey, Eddie, how's... Oh, no, 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 don't worry! Oops, my bad. Oh, well, no biggie. Hey, uh, can you press the elevator button for me? Why? I, I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly almost every time you press it. Is that a new window, Eddie, or do you mean like the elevator? That's silly. It's just luck. Well, come on. Just, just give it a try. There, I pressed the button. What the? Thanks. Why did it magically go up when I did it? Uh oh, there's Roxanne. Is there anything we can take from Neil's office? It's pooping his plant. <laughs> I left you a Christmas present. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, Nicole. Or Roxy. I don't even remember her name. Alright, so we got something. Isn't there a way to. Hit your inventory. I don't remember what it is. Dear Diary, today I... Shoot, not again! The door was open too. Better lock it away for good. Oh man, was I supposed to have read that each time? I hope not. Let's go talk to Nicole, on, or uh, Roxanne on her way out. I don't know why I keep calling her the wrong name. You alright, Roxy? Oh, hi, Eva! Yep, I'm waiting on Rob. His ride's under maintenance. We're carpooling. Oh. He, he, hey, Rob, you ready? Just a minute. Anyway, what you up to? Um, not much. Just heading home to have dinner with my sister's fam. We always have our Christmas dinner together, and they've been waiting. Little kids are going to be hungry. Wow, how nice of them. The turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had it been me. I bet. All right. You got any plans tonight? Well, I've got to meet up with some folks later. But first, I've got a date with the good old couch and ice cream. Oh, another couch slut. I'm going to grab a whole bucket and scoop it, and then I'm going to spoon it. She's going to spoon with the couch, I told you. Sounds like a lovely time. Yup, yup, yup. Bye. She didn't really... Lock her door, but whatever. Anything over here? All right, all the other offices appear to be closed. Let's go home. Wait, no, we're not going home. We're gonna go visit our sister. Go hang out with our nephew, have some food. Let's go to the lobby. 
I believe the meeting room is where uh, Neil is. Oh, those old scandalous things. Eva, um, you know about earlier when I was trying to plow Tamus fields? Um, hey, don't worry about it. It happens. No, uh, Les, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman, I think I think she gets the bird and the birds and the bees, Doctor Willis. Oh, shush you! I'll show you some birds and bees. I don't understand that one. I'm uh, heading off. You're still here? Uh, yeah. I'm staying here tonight. It's Christmas Eve, I believe, Neil. Come on. Wait, what? Everybody's having heading home. Uh, what can I say? It's just the kind of hardworking Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Aw, oh, Neil's got nowhere to go. And Neil! And Bob? It's Robert. Uh, Rob? Well, that was an odd exchange. Anyway, um, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really just gonna stay here on the only break we've gotten in, in months? Ah, uh, yep. All this mansion to myself. Yes, please. You're not gonna go to the dream machine and make naughty dreams for yourself, are you? I don't think that's safe. All right, then. Neil wants to go with you, I think. Hey, uh, if you want... Uh-huh, what, uh -huh. Um, never mind. Aw, oh, damn it! Neil! Oh, he almost got... that sad. Neil, go knock on her window! Who's Tracy? Oh, Tracy must be the sister. Uh, I don't have any more girl voices. Eva! Hey, sis, I'm heading over now. Oh, poor Neil's got to spend Christmas all alone in the Sigmund Laboratories. Wait, what does he have back there? What are you doing, Neil? Hmm. Aw, did Eva come back to pick him up and invite him to the party? And yup, there he is. He's staying there all by himself? But isn't this like Christmas for you guys? Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Hon, you should invite him to dinner. What? Don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. Sorry, I don't have better women voices. I don't... I don't mean for anything else, just for co-workers' sake, you know? I know the guy. He's not one to come over. Anyways, get the dishes started, will you? I'll be there in a bit. Okay, hon. I'll see you then. Eva, go in. You know you want to. You drove back around. Eva, what was that? What? You okay, hon? Are you okay? Are you there, Eva? Wait, that's her. That how can how could she be? Eva, can you hear me? Yeah, I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hon, I'll see you then. How did she just see herself? She's not dead, is she? Uh, 
Ah, uh, come on. Uh, 30th time's the charm. What are you doing, Neil? Neil, I don't think you're supposed to... Wait, who's your test subject? Whose mind are you going into? And the moment of truth? System circuit abnormality detected. Main power disconnected. Ah, uh, what the bob? <laughs> How does that even? I'd better go down to the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. Good job, Neil. You're at the place all by yourself, and you blew the uh, fuse. At least the elevator's on auxiliary power. I could reach the basement from the lobby. All right, let's head down to the basement. Get around that? Oh, there we go. Maybe that's a wise thing. He must be doing something he's not supposed to be doing. Man, your boss is going to be so pissed, Neil, if they find out about this. Uh, we got to go to the lobby. The meeting room's not going to help us at all. All right, how do I get to the basement? Oh, that way. Uh, for a tech facility, the power supply sure is unreliable. Access profile loaded, Dr. Neil Watts. Access time, 1947. Is that relevant? Do I need to know that? Alright, let's uh, get you booted up first. Power status, charging for reignition. And now let's see what happened to you. It's almost as if someone did a manual shutoff. Why would someone do that? How would somebody know to do that? Fetching operation record? I, I I don't understand. This can't be right. There must be a glitch in the system. Uh, who, who's there? Broom him to death. Prepare for the brooming of your lifetime. So alt in space. Uh, don't hurt me. I don't think there's ever been combat in this game before. Do you have to go back down there? I have a broom, and I'm not afraid to use it. Footprints. Who the? But the door was... The, the, the door was locked. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, Rosalind. Did I just hit you? There you are. Oh. I think I hit Rosalind in the head with the broom. Power restored. I'm sorry. How's the towel, hun? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. That helps, thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't nobody gonna whack my little sister like that. Uh, she, she was an accident, all right? Your face was an accident. Do you just go around the office swinging a broom all day? Uh, look, I, I was in beast mode, and she just suddenly appeared on my turf. You, you, you can't stop a Neil in beast mode. It's not my fault that I was born with such crazy fast reflexes. Why did you guys come over anyway? You're one to ask, staying all alone in your office on the holiday off. Who does that? Oh, that's so tra so cute. Eva and her sister Tracy came to bring Neil over for Christmas. It was her idea. Darn right it is. 
I ain't having no partner with my sister sunk by himself on a night like this. And I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't sunk. You just shut up and listen. Oh, that's how I grew up. It's like, you're gonna shut up and we're gonna go look at lights and have a Christmas good time. I'm sorry, Mama. You even called in some old friends and we're all gonna have a nice dinner together. And you're gonna enjoy every moment of it. That was like growing up for me. You're gonna shut up and enjoy Christmas, okay? Wow, uh, you kind of remind me of someone I know. I'm so sorry, Eva. Hey, um, I'm sorry about your face and that I broomed you in the face. Don't talk to me. Uh, it was the soft end of the broom, sheesh. Come to think of it, it, it shouldn't have been... Uh, I should have been charging you for a facial massage. <laughs> I gave you a facial. Don't even go there, Neil. Go away. There, there, hon. It's actually not that bad. Uh, what was that? Not that bad? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo. All right, I'll go talk to the kids. Aw, oh, it's so nice of them to invite me to their house. Are we in the office still? Aaron, I guess he's the older. I'll use my own voice. Man, Neil, we only just got here and you've already got Tracy all worked up. Uh, workplace hazard, I can't help it. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. Don't you, do, do you even, don't, don't even, uh, don't, don't even want to imagine what you do with a mop. Um, our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. Yeah, I'm a lethal weapon, you know. Like that movie. Um, have you guys not had a break since the end of the year? Uh, it wasn't 100% work time, but we're always on call. Can't really help when people go poof. Man, I can't imagine doing that kind of work. Don't you guys get stressed out by the very nature of it? Yeah, uh, you tend to get used to it. Uh, some more so than others. Aw, oh, what a festive Christmas time. Look, Eva, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to beat you in the face. I want to see if the other kid's going to say anything, though. I don't think so. Jamie, can I open the box, Dad? Can I? Oh, that was a dad, not... Go ask Aunt Eva. It's not Oz. Um, hey, don't talk to me. Oh, but the kid wants to open the damn gift. Dude, what's in the box? Um, uh, we, we actually don't know. What? Um, yeah, come to think of it, those exact same boxes were here last year, too. Well, can we open them? No, I, I don't know who so th they are. So they just sit here? Uh, yep, that's what they do. I don't get it. Uh, me either, kid. Me either. So are they like decorations? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Come on, open them. It's been a year. Who cares? Hey, uh, don't talk to me. Sorry, I. We're gonna get dinner out and ready soon. You just go stay put and warm up your jaws. Does that mean I should talk? All right, I'll go talk to your husband some more. He seems nice. Man, I can't imagine doing that kind of work. Alright, so we already did all those things. What are we missing? Oh, we are at work. Uh-oh. Nicole? Or, uh, I'm sorry, Roxy? Oh, hi. Uh, I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so, too. But as I was happily picking out on the couch, Eva called and asked for a pickup. Uh, what? Uh, but she's already here. Who's that kid? Tommy? Hello! What the? Hi, Uncle Neil. Tommy and Sarah? Oh, my word, we haven't seen you since To the Moon. On um, the last time you two came by, you called me a poo-poo face. Okay. <laughs> Poor Dr. Neil. That was Tommy. He's mean. 
Blah, blah, blah. Poo poo face. <laughs> wow, that kid's grown up to be a lizard. Uh, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. It's been a while, Neil. I forgot Lily's voice. I'm sorry. If you've already watched the To The Moon one and then this, I'm... It's been almost a year since I've recorded the two. Uh, yep. Eva just strayed you guys right out of your loving home, huh? Oh, uh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were getting bored at home anyway. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go inside. We're gonna be missing dinner by now. Oh, yes. I said let's go say hi. You guys all sound the same to me. Oh, look at what Eva did for Neil. Making Christmas special for him. Neil, go back in there and celebrate. Damn it, Neil, where the hell did you go? Eva, you gotta go find Neil. She went through all this work to make... Hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. Yeah, I... Damn it, Neil. Eva went through all this work because you were all alone on the holidays. Wait, this isn't where I wanted to go, is it? Neil! Alright, he's not in the basement. The generator's working fine. That elevator does not look safe. It looks cool, but it does not look safe. I would think halfway down people would just fall off. Maybe next time. Uh, hello? Who's calling? Who is this? Son? son? It's Neil's dad! Is that you, Neil? Why are you why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No, it's uh it's not them. Then why? Why 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 did you come back? I told you already, it was my sister's idea. You could have stopped her. W what? Look, thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. Oh, wait, wrong voice. Look, thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. But just don't do something like that again. Do do what? He's like, I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. Where are you going? I'm home. I've got things to work on. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know what's going on there, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Actually, I relate to Neil a lot, because I'm that way. Like, on holidays, <laughs> like this Christmas, I will probably be alone working on projects. <laughs> I'm not trying to make it sad. It's just like, I'm very introverted and alone. That's the way I work on things. Those people came all the way out here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had dinner with other people? <laughs> My sister brought her family here to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. Look at Neil. Look at how much you're loved. They went through all that effort and they don't even know you. You still remember them, right? You even made that stupid ba game based on that case. What are you going to do when you go home? Eat a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh! Anyway, I'm not going to just stand out here in the cold tossing words at you. You do what you want. I'm heading inside. Just know there's a chair upstairs for you, whether you're coming or not.
Oh, Neil! Oh, there he is! He did go back! Oh, Eva, you're the best partner ever! Giving that nerd a happy Merry Christmas! I hope you all are having an awesome holiday season, and thank you so much for all of you who make my Christmas merry! By taking the time to watch the videos, I greatly appreciate it. Oh man, I love this story. Aw. To the founder of the feast. Give us the toys, Neil. Give us the toys. <laughs> They're all for me. You'll never get the toys. <laughs> I love Christmas. <laughs> That's so cool that Lily and Tommy and Sarah even came to see Neil. Oh, it's the device that, um, she gave him. Has it been recording all of that? The kids squealing as they're trying to get the toys? I'm going to leave that up there because that is a very important message. The people that made these games are amazing and that is a horrible thing to have to go through. I want to thank you all for making my holiday season special by just being a part of the channel and for watching this. And um, thank you to the creators for making such an awesome game. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and I'll hopefully see you in whatever I LP next. Well, well what? That wasn't so bad, was it? Everybody had a good time? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, um, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs to... Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says he needs the company car tonight. Sure, sure, hon. Let's uh, let's get you home. <laughs>